Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolays at Dawn. I'm your host, Chad of your 333 and this first match is going to be between <clears throat> Sizzeroth and Julitz on Fairyland, so let's get started. Sizzeroth going for the Jump Bot Factory, while Julitz is going for Light Vehicle Factory, which on this map is a touch unusual. I mean, the Vehicle Factory is definitely going to be a bit of a problem with these hills. It's not too high of hills. They're a thing that is going to make it difficult to get into the main base a little bit. But even then, not by much. Jump bots, however, are perfect for this map when you consider that, well, I mean, it's a map with cliffs. But it's a map with cliffs that has these holes in between that are actually big enough that jump bots can deal with. So the jumping jump bots have no problem. The ones that don't jump, like puppies, for instance, not so much. And it looks like Sisseroth Getting a puppy for scouting, getting some pyro up for a bit of defense, most likely, but it's not clear yet. Also getting their economy going a touch slower than I would expect. I'm not sure why this constable's just sitting over there, not doing much. At the same time, Julets is setting up their metal economy a bit more efficiently, has a worker up or has a mason up front. Did go for solar plants rather than wind generators, so at the moment, Sisseroth is at a bit of an advantage energy-wise. On this map, at least in the main base. 1.1 to 2.5 wind generators, so it's always more efficient to go for wind gens than solar plants. Anyway, first fight comes in there, and it looks like Julet's managing to retreat Micro away into a defender, and that is no good. But at the very least, both players do know the opponent's factory. At this point, it's just a matter of figuring out how they're going to respond. Ciceroth going for straight to moderator. I can totally see why as well. Now, that then raises the question, what is Julette's going to do? Are they aware that there's going to be a moderator? Or are they going to go for levelers or slashers to deal with pyros? Levelers are... Okay, that's their first choice, which is going to be a bit of a problem. Once they get to the moderators, the moderators will make short work of the levelers. That is what they do. Ciceroth with the one moderator and nothing else. Ciceroth, what, what do you got in mind here? Because... Clearly something's up. You, you gotta be thinking of something. That's not normal just to build one unit. And it looks like Ciceroth might just want to use it defensively. They're sending out some of their constables, building up some defenses, building up some radar towers, building their economy relatively slowly. While Julets, on the other hand, they're going full force when it comes to building up a military. Actually, they're way behind economically, come to think of it. Ciceroth is ahead by 6 metal per second, actually having a hard time spending all that metal. They need to get that in there. Where is a worker in the main base when you need one? Constable's right at front, but that's not the thing that's relevant now. Over the... Well, never mind. I was about to say, over in Juliet's base, Pyro coming in, dealing some damage. Doesn't actually end up dealing much. On the other hand, though, Ciceroth also deflects an attack from Juliet's, so neither player too vulnerable. Both players testing the other's defenses, finding they are relatively strong. Or at least strong enough to hold off any attacks that might come in that are very lightweight as those were. So basic grades are no longer going to work. Ciceroth starting to excess metal. They need to start, they need to get their caretakers going or they need to get a constable over in the main base. They're trying to make up for it as best as possible by setting up their construction right here, right up front. And they're building a storage, which means, are they going to be going for a commander rush? The thing is that since commanders are your storage now, or at least your initial 500-500, you need to build a storage if you want to go for an aggressive commander strategy and not have a much harder time keeping your economy going than you should. Anyway, it's a half-built storage, so we'll see. Maybe that'll be a thing they're considering. They want to have a half-built, just to make it easier to completely build should the need arise. And indeed, Ciceroth's commander is going fairly forward. On the other hand, Juliet's commander sticking... Actually, no. Also going forward. Never mind. Both players have a forward commander. Both players are quite keen on putting themselves somewhat in harm's way, though it doesn't look like Juliet's is as prepared for the worst. That being said, Juliet's finally getting their economy up, at least partly through the use of metal and... Or the use of reclaim, rather. Metal is, of course, an always used thing. There is no reason you're not using metal. At any rate, Ravager coming into the main base of Julets or sorry, of Ciceroth, trying to get into the main base of Ciceroth, not managing to. Julets getting stopped by the moderators. The moderators, as I mentioned before, are the thing that you're going to have to worry about. Julets looks like they're going to be going for a few Scorchers to help deal with this, which they should. I mean, moderators deal... Although, I don't know. Moderators deal 500 damage. Scorchers only have, I think, 400 and... 
much health did they have? It was like 400 something? 420 health. I was exact. I was gonna say 420, and I thought, no, it can't be that. Come on. No, it is. It is totally 420 HP. Because that is too little. I mean, you get enough Scorchers, it's not a big deal. They'll be able to rush in and stop the moderators from doing anything at the cost of their own lives, but, you know, still manage to help win the fight. That being said, Sisseroth still way ahead economically, with they have an economy, though they lack in production. They also kind of lack in energy, but that geothermal plant will fix that in short order. But yeah, this is what I mean. The moderators are just not something that can be easily dealt with once they get their weapons back online. There we go. Yeah, Ravager and Leveler for free. And that Scorcher is also going to die pretty soon, although not before getting a Constable. That is... That's still value. It's a little tricky to say how much value because of the amount of metal donated to an extent, although Ciceroth did lose the worker. That's actually That basically makes that not necessarily a sacrifice. Because if we look through, 419 metal. So, had that constable lived, that would have been 419 metal donated. As it is, it's just in the center. It's anyone's game, or it's anyone's metal. Ciceroth does not have the exclusive claim to it as they would have had that constable died. That being said, Sitsaroth is still in a more advantageous economic position. They're still in a much better military position. I mean, their territory control of this reclaim field is... It's present. It's right here. And any further attempt to get that back is probably not going to matter too much. Julet's deciding instead, go for the Cloaky Bot Factory. Probably to build up sides, though possibly to build up glaives just to try to overwhelm with numbers. I mean, the problem is that moderators do have a very high range... I don't know, 420 ammo, that's actually not super high. The thing is, compared to a rock... No. Where are you? I don't forget it. Anyway, I'll, <laughs> I'll get to that once the actual thing's built. But yeah, Rockos have, I believe, a slightly longer range. Not by much, though. And here it is. There is Ciceroth coming in with the Stardust on top of that to get the reclaim field in the center of the map and probably build up a fire base as well, as that usually is what happens there. Ciceroth... Also expanding to the northwest, as Julets is stuck inside their base, they're they're hunkering down. I'm not sure what they're hunkering down for. I mean, this could work if they manage to pull up a large enough army, manage to hit in a weak spot, take some territory, and work from there. That could be a powerful strategy. Julets is only four metal per second behind Ciceroth at this point. Energy is fine. Production is actually about even. And Asuma was coming up for Ciceroth. I do not agree with this at all. Ciceroth is not in an advantageous enough position to spend all that money on one unit. I realize it's a very tough unit, but it's still only one unit. The problem with that is... Uh, actually, I guess they don't have any shieldbot factories. I was going to say, the problem with that is that they could be disabled easily, but the thing is there is no shieldbot factory. There actually isn't a whole lot of disabling going on here. The Dominatrix is a potential option, but I don't see Julets going for that. That being, I don't know, I mean, because the, because the Scorchers deal with this, I feel like the Scorchers would be... Nah, the Scorchers wouldn't be able to deal with that effectively. The combined force, though, if it was just one sumo, an unsupported sumo, and even five moderators... But if the sumo is unsupported, it would not help. Five moderators would help... Man, this is tough to call. I don't know if it's relevant, though. Ciceroth is about double the economy of Julets, and Julets finally heading out of their main base, getting some metal extractors, trying to pull themselves back into a reasonable position economically. And there's the strike. There's the push. Julets, do they even know? They have no idea there's a Stardust there. They do now, and they're still going for it. If they actually do it carefully, they might be able to, losing most of their Scorchers, which they need to deal with the Moderators. And all but one of the Scorchers goes down, but it looks like there was still a bit of reclaim left. Mind you, quite a bit of that is new reclaim. Oh, okay, these units need to keep going. The moderators are hot on their heels, but that's fine. It's fine. They're going to be able to deal some damage. If they can get rid of that constable, that'd be even better. However, the moderator is going in for the counterattack, which I don't expect to be particularly effective. I mean, moderator 420 range is nothing compared to the defenders. So the defenders coming in here, doing their job, doing what they do best, defending. There's one moderator down already. One defender down, however, as the defenders, of course, do have the limited resources to deliver the limited missiles. But as it is, the moderators' over-aggression, their over-commitment here has been their downfall. And with that, Ciceroth is out of basically any regular units. They are now going for more moderators. They do have the sumo up. They have a lot of support for it. How many moderators do they have? Okay, so six pretty much right next to the sumo. 
So while the first round here did go fairly well for Julets, I don't see that happening again. I mentioned before I wasn't sure about the sumo, but that was an unsupported sumo. A supported sumo, even with the glaives taking shots for the moderators, I don't know how well that's going to work. Actually, you know what? Oh, it is going to work! Julets not keeping their units too clumped up, so overall their units managed to survive the attack from the sumo, and with that get rid of most of the moderators, put the sumo in a tough spot. It is pushing away all the scorchers though, so that is one thing I wasn't sure about. But even then, the sumo is way out of position, and it has lost its jump. No, it's gotta have its jump back by now. No, it does not, and it doesn't matter, it's not using it for sure. That is a dead sumo. That is exactly what I thought would happen, even though Ciceroth does have the economic advantage in this. Sumos are not that great as a game-ending unit. They kinda used to be, but they got nerfed hard. So, it isn't worth it. I mean, they can jump on things, but gravity guns are nothing compared to the heat rays they had a year and a half or two years ago. And I think Ciceroth may be playing with that mindset. At any rate, Julets has both taken out that force and, to some extent, taken the center. They need to get this mason over there, though, or a few masons, or a caretaker, or something. They need to get constructors over here. Take all this metal. There's... There's over a thousand metal. There's 1,500 metal almost in this center field, and nothing's going for it. There's a mason going near, but not enough, and Julet's losing more forces to get rid of a few more Stardusts, which I don't see as being the efficient use of their forces. It's not a bad idea to get rid of these fire bases, though, and getting rid of Constable is still good. But for the amount of losses they're taking and the fact that they aren't actually claiming the reclaim fields, it's not value. If they can get the reclaim fields, then good. That's what they need. Julets is nearest masons over here, over in the northeast side, building up a few metal extractors, not going for the reclaim fields at all, which they need to. And here's the moderator force, and this is the problem. It's coming in, hitting some units, killing some, but one shot, otherwise slowing them down, and that's, well, that's what moderators do. That's the big problem. You can't easily chase them. And with half a dozen, no, almost a dozen moderators, nine, well, okay, in between. Non-moderators hanging out, just not letting anything happen to Ciceroth's base. Granted, Julets has taken the center to some extent. They haven't really taken it over yet, but they could. They really should, too. Like, Julets, their current economic state is such that they, they will die if they don't do so. Now, granted, stopping this, con this constable, they needed to do that. Now, Ciceroth back in their base... And they need to do that. The console's gonna die. It's it's over. Sisseroth back at their base, though. We do see a crow coming out here. Sisseroth really going for all these game ending units. That's one thing I'm noticing here. Sisseroth doesn't seem to be super confident in the larger numbers of weaker but more. Well, I guess weaker, weaker but lighter units. Units that don't require as much of an investment. Instead, going for the more beefy units, the ones that you do see as game-enders, or at least as pinnacles of their factory. Julet Ciceroth just building up for one final fight, and at the same time, Julets, are they getting that reclaim going? No! In fact, they are... They threw away a mason over to the southeast side of the map, and still aren't sending anything over to take the reclaim field for reasons I do not understand, given that they are way behind in metal compared to Ciceroth. I don't know if they know it yet, but they are... They need that reclaim. They do have a mason over on this side here, but it's not taking any of this stuff. And begins... Battle f starts with just pulling everything in here. It's out of a horror movie here. Although one Ravager does survive, getting buried alive, mind you, but it does manage to survive, get behind the moderators, and actually throw them off a little bit, but it's not enough. Julets just lost about half a dozen units for free. Almost half their army now. Just unit after unit getting pulled in and ripped apart by moderators. Ciceroth, while I'm not sure why they're going for these heavy units, knows how to use them. Anyway, Julets, without anything really set up to deal with this too much, given that they do have a a Colicubot factory. They could go for snipers, they could go for spec uh, for scythes, I guess. I would go for Spectre myself. Actually, I would go for scythes myself. I keep, keep forgetting Spectres exist. But if I remember Spectres existed, I would go for Spectres, because they'd be 
the choice here. They are the unit of choice right now. And Ciceroth finally getting attacked. Julet's coming in. Bit of the side, actually. Trying to break the line from the side, but the moderators are well enough in range of each other that it doesn't matter. The sumo to help finish off a bit of a jump to come in, as well as continuing to push everything into the moderators. As the moderators clean up Julet's forces, and Julet's, without the economic advantage, without a, with a massive economic disadvantage, by contrast, they are done. At least that fight is done. There's still a bit of a chance there is... Nope. Julet's just left the game, apparently. I mean, at least there's the Caretaker, which is something, but it's not enough. Not yet. Not anymore. It was. It would have been. But it's not. Julet's realizes this, throws in the towel, and that is game. And yeah, in terms of metal income, it was pretty even for a little while. But then halfway through the game, Ciceroth just got a bit more income. And well, actually, they had more income throughout, but they managed to use more. They were accessing a lot more near the beginning, and that that gave Julet's a bit of an edge. Didn't quite manage to turn that into anything super useful, though. Yeah, unfortunately, Julet's did not manage to set up what they needed. They had the reclaim field. There was five minutes at least where the reclaim field was just sitting here that Julet's could have taken it and did not do so, which was unfortunate for them, but fortunate for Ciceroth as Ciceroth was able to take the game even before their crow was done. I mean, the sumo moderator, that all did the trick. The only thing I can think of that might have helped out there would either be slashers, which is a little bit specialized, but it could work, or, given the fact that the Clokibot factory was there, using sides or sniper or specters just to get rid of the moderators, pick them off. After that, the sumo is basically just... Uh, it's gravity guns. That's annoying. But it's not as deadly as moderators. Especially not gravity gun to pull units into moderators to then wreck them with moderators. That was amazing. Like, that is how... That is how you use a sumo in moderator pair. Like, Sitzroth, they had the idea... They had the idea right. Anyway, next match is going to be between North Chilean G and Lynx on Avalanche. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple minutes.